<laughs> Here is Arnold in Washington, D.C. Arnold, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Good morning, Kojo. I'm uh, a big fan of yours, and i also a big fan of the game of blackjack. Um, you know, I, I still play it on my uh, droid phone regularly. I, I go to casinos maybe two or three times a year. But the reality of the situation is online gambling does exist. In the state of Maryland, I, I'm from D.C., I live in Maryland now, uh, they have uh, slot par parlors in Perryville, uh, which true, is near true. Pennsylvania, and, and in another location. It is not important. So you're West in favor Virginia of it. Has, uh, I'm 100% in favor, but with a caveat. Yes. Um, I used to think the lottery was bad because people who couldn't afford food would take their food money and buy lottery tickets. Okay. And the, the addiction to gambling is just like heroin or nicotine or alcohol. And there is a group, I'm not a member, it's Gamblers Anonymous. I would like to see some sort of publicity and encouragement and nobody wants somebody to take their even as we roll out online gambling you feel that presumably some of the funding should be used to help people to avoid gambling addiction gives me the opportunity to ask you buddy rugao yes. about the limits on people participating in this is my understanding it's limited it will be limited to yes. 250 you know, a yes. week. yes and i uh, take the question i accept it there's demographic studies about who participates in online game gambling but Beyond that, $250 a week is the maximum. If you go to the British Columbia Lottery Corporation in Canada, uh, I believe they allow deposits of up to $10,000 a week. We have no desire to have the professional gambler who could lose or win $250 in one hand and therefore, in our case, would no longer be able to play for another week. We don't want to attract those people. We have no desire to do it. We're going to have, an I think, one of the most robust, if not the most robust, responsible gaming program in the world. We're working with the National Council on well, Problem well, Gaming. Let me, excuse me for interrupting, but you say you don't want the program. No, we don't. And you don't want the poor person to spend his or her uh, uh, family uh, dinner not. money. Right. So who is the target? Are you, are you, I don't think I've ever heard you say it, but I think you actually want to target the tourists who come to town, the 20 million tourists oh, who come I'm to town. Oh, I'm happy to say it. We would be, we think one of the most important elements here in order for the site to be successful is in fact for all those people who do come in town every day or who are visiting the city as tourists uh, to give them the opportunity if they wish to participate. Look, it surrounds us. People are leaving the district every day in buses and cars to go to the sites that the gentleman caller just mentioned. They're going to uh, West Virginia. They're going to the sites in Maryland. And they're playing in a much more aggressive way at bricks and mortar casinos. And uh, we'd like to be able to have, at least to a minimal extent, some kind of attraction to keep those people here Speaking and bring them here.